Hello and welcomes back everyone, and fourth here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Setting ourselves up to do another Flashpoint interlude video, this one being the Flashpoint known as Aphis. Which you normally do I think about level 19 to 24-ish. I think it only recommends you level 21 when you do this Flashpoint. Of course, with the changes in Expansion 4.0, the Knights of the Fallen Empire expansion, all Flashpoints are now known as Tactical Flashpoints and we're going to be boosted to level 65 when we run it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let's find out what it's about first of all, though. You've arrived at last. Good. I understand you have seen things no mind is meant to endure. You've struggled against the power of Sith dead for centuries. If you are not willing to face the darkness again, leave now, and I will forget your existence. We're talking now for a reason. I want to know what's going on. As you wish. One thousand years ago, the planet Aethys held the sanctum of Vodal Kresh, greatest of the Sith alchemists. Vodal was a mad savant, who bred a race of slaves devoted to his glory. His hunger and spite were endless, and when he died, the Emperor declared Aethys forbidden. Forbidding dangerous knowledge isn't the Sith way. What did the Emperor think would happen? As I said, Vodal was spiteful, and had many servants. In defeat, his followers might spread chaos to the galaxy. Two days ago, we detected a signal from Aethys' surface. We believe a Republic survey party landed and disturbed the ruins. Something is stirring on the planet. Whether it's idiot explorers or Vogel's mad legacy, it cannot be allowed to escape. You said Aethys was forbidden. Now you want me to go down there? The breach has already occurred, and the edict no longer applies. I will take full responsibility. Go to Aethys, eliminate whatever prowls Vodal's sanctum, and remove the scriptures he left behind. Let none of Vodal's power fall into enemy hands. Stop them from unleashing something uncontrollable. There we go. That's a whole purpose for going down to Aphis itself. And I'd mentioned the uh, Kresh family earlier. Or the Kresh's legacy that we encountered them on Droman Cass while doing the first trial for the Revenites. But uh, yeah, let's set ourselves up in the group finder once again. We're doing Aphis rather than Hammer Station. We'll accept we're only going to be a DPS even though we may need a role as a healer. We'll see how it goes. Let's join the queue. We'll give it a minute. I say last time we signed ourselves off for a tactical flashpoint, it actually allocated us a group quite quickly. So it's worth maybe being a little bit patient here. But yeah, I'm enjoying the series so far. I have been doing this session has been quite a long one. I started from when we first entered the Dark Temple all the way up until this point, and hey. Oh, someone cancelled. Oh well. See, it doesn't take all, all that long. But uh, yeah, this has been a long session all the way up to this point. I think it's about... I think this is the 10th video I've recorded so far today. Uh, obviously, by the time you watch these, I'll probably be releasing them in like two video bursts on my channel. But yeah, I'm enjoying the Imperial Agent. I say, this storyline I'm quite familiar with up until the end of Chapter 1. So I'm interested to see what twists and turns actually occur for us. And apparently, a lot of people say the Imperial Agent storyline is arguably the best storyline out of the eight playable classes. And that's pretty like pretty impressive for them to say. I really enjoyed the Bounty Hunter storyline. So apparently, if this is better than that... How is the question I'm going to have to ask myself, and we will find out together as we explore it. I like the whole espionage idea, though. Give it another 30 seconds, another minute, just to see if it activates. A lot of companion gifts. I might start um, saving these up. Um... Oh, hello. Ready up. Nope, someone declined again. 
We are at the top of the group finder apparently, so this should um, hopefully pop quite quickly. Might as well not break the video. But no, I might save my companion gifts because they may come in handy in the future. Depending on what other companions we get. Can't remember who we unlock. Obviously we have um, Kaleo and 2v right now. Obviously we will discover more as an Imperial agent as our storyline unfolds. Um, sell my trash items, please. I'm gone. Excellent. Right, we'll give it another 30 seconds, a minute, and then if the group finder doesn't pop again, then I'll break the video until it does. And then I'll just merge the videos together. Oh. I don't understand why people decline the group finder. Like, unless they've accidentally signed up. But then... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of flashpoints we will be doing in the future, though. I don't think I've ever done the Circa Corp Corporate Labs or the Circa Core Meltdown, but I think that might be on the planet, um, I think it's CZ176. The rest I have done previously. I've never recorded the uh, Q8 Drive Yards, which traditionally before this expansion was the only tactical flashpoint available. Um, you could do that from like level 10 or 15 onwards, basically. Right, another 30 seconds. I say, feel free to use the timeline if you so desire. I wouldn't blame you in the slightest. Is there anything else we need to do? Actually, while we're waiting, we do have some modifications we can play with. Oh, have I already done that? I didn't do that already. Uh, level 30 gear. Let's wait to see the other two people will ready up. Alright, make me look good. All these are minor improvement modifications. Uh, level 26, good. One more person to ready up. item. Excellent. There you go. Full level 30 gear. It's probably going to uh, run out of time and then reset us again at the top of the queue. Hail the Emperor. He replaced at the top of the queue. That was another operative as well, I think. Yeah.
Three Sith Sorcerers. Oh, excellent. Let us be on our way to Aphis. Didn't even have to break the video. That makes my editing process slightly easier. Not having to merge two videos together. It's not exactly difficult. Indeed, I am the only non soak here. You can um, slice this elevator, but Copy. if you. This is Republic Survey Team 689 Mark 1. I don't know who's hearing this, but most of us are already dead. Oop. Probably shouldn't need the explosives the way the air. Uh, True skill things messed up at the moment. We shouldn't require it. Back road. <laughs> yeah, you normally need 125 archaeology. I got maybe 20. 13! <laughs> Not even that. But it doesn't matter. That gives you a buff. Um, in Damage done increase, there you go. They just come for us. Well, they, they try to make converts. They worship some sort of Sith legend. I, I have to go. <laughs> um, do we, ah, we might as well get destroyed. We don't really need it, but... We might as well take it. Anyone else have... Anyone else have scavenging? Really, I shouldn't get this because if I stealth, the droid doesn't stealth. Which makes my, um, it limits my options, I should say. Heal up. <laughs> okay, uh, if I slice one of them. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, this could be difficult without a dedicated healer. We'll see how it goes. Is my droid still alive? No, it's not. Okay. Are you a rescue mission? A cleanup crew? No matter. You will embrace his word as we did. Shall rise again, and we will be his favored children. <laughs> I'll never lay hands on his work. His servants have waited for a thousand years. They will slay you and return to the stars. Oh, we can all loot the body. Research console. Obviously, some researchers are still alive. Use the console to switch off power to the ray shield blocking the exit. It appears the Republic Explorers fashion an improvised distress beacon. The surviving explosive on bad ship will never make it off Aphis. Unless the beacon is activated. Let's destroy the beacon. Destroy it, ensuring the corruption affecting the explosive never leaves Aphis. Because I'm a dick. Let's continue on our way. We'll probably go around. Heal up. And bypass the next fight. Nice and easy. Might be able to bypass the next fight, I'm not too sure. Reach everyone's past. Yep, good. Ah, crap. Crying out loud. Oh well, hopefully they survived that encounter. Do 
don't have a dedicated tank, so yeah. Yeah, they accidentally aggroed someone. So I've died a couple of times. Uh, I don't think we can avoid any of these, so I'm just going to disable the most dangerous. Yes, the next boss, the beast of Vodal Crush himself. He can knock you around, make sure you're not standing next to this edge, because he can knock you off the cliff and you can accidentally fall into, into the swamp and aggro some more. It's a pain in the butt. Um, I need a... we need a dedicated healer. Um... Well then, you go ahead. What's your plan then? Let's see what you think of. <laughs> Feel free. You know exactly who what's going to happen. Thank you.
Yep. Now he's standing exactly on the bloody. We need to lower our. I need you to use your. God damn it. He was standing next to that culture tank forever. Could have used it to heal me. Oh well, so much for this being easy. You can use those emergency culto stations, but you need to have someone pro supporting the healers. Oh, hello. Forgot about those guys. Right, take two. So we have three of these cult of stations. tank this thing. It's gonna be annoying. I'm just gonna end up having to kick this guy.
that's not a time to be doing that. There we go. I normally need 120 archaeology to open this. Away, since I've got the sleep dart. I've been waiting for you. you and here's the final boss. Ship, the galaxy will be his again. I'll be glad when this flashpoint's over. <laughs> I really will. Here we go again. Speak in his name, the Lord of Heart and I. Okay. You are nothing here. It obviously 25, 15, 75 percent health. One person will get a debuff, soul rend, and these living fighters will chase after that person basically. Feel the wrath of Bodal Fred. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, there you go. Let's change targets again. This was his place of power. You are nothing here. Yeah, you had the yeah uh, poison. The the boss also poisoned you. Didn't realize he was poisoned. He didn't dare uh, dispel it off from himself. Feel the wrath of Bodal Fred. <laughs> Rise. 
That's uh, Aphis complete. Yay. We are so out of here. <laughs> that was more annoying than I thought. Success to Darth Malgus. This is Viking Space Dock to Darth Malgus. I have the artifacts of Virgil Crash. Then you possess all that remains of the Dark Lord. Whatever happened down there will not repeat itself. My augurs felt the final destruction of Vodal's spirit. All I know is that we won the battle. That's enough for now. Indeed. As to the artifacts, the Dark Council will choose whether to destroy Vodal's work. I would see his name wiped from our history. There is no place for Sith Lords who place themselves above the Empire, not among the living or the dead. Arrogance is never lacking in men of ambition, living or dead. So we keep watch. We are done for now. Rest. I know you have done the Emperor's will. There we go. It's a flashpoint Aphis complete. Ah, obviously our next destination now, happily, is Nor Shadar. Did hit level 32. I wonder if there's any new abilities we can learn. Let's get ourselves back to the Phantom. Oh, we might as well just park ourselves here. Shield probe. Someone's probed right that's check. Projects a shield around the agent, absorbing a moderate amount of damage of moderate amount of incoming damage for ten seconds. Okay. L32 exiting stealth now finishes the cooldown of sneak and sneak can now be used out of stealth, increasing your movement speed. And next level we gain another utility point, which we can use in the skillful tree here. Okay. But uh, yeah, we'll break this video. I might as well just break it here before we get on board the Phantom. But when we come back, we shall be on our way to Norshadon and see what the Eagle's Terrorist Cell are up to on that world. This, of course, has been Anful for Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've all enjoyed. And I hope you all take care. And I'll see you for more next time. Until then, though. Bye-bye now.